the next city connect program is coming to mlb the show 22 tomorrow so let's talk about if there's any last second investment opportunities here you could possibly capitalize and make some stubs on this city connect program drop it showed up on the schedule last week but i think a lot of people are overlooking this however it is at the end of this featured program so maybe not as impactful maybe not and near as many people going out quickly to wrap up this city connect program but there are still some really good plays out there that are risk-free investments so might as well go in here spend some stubs on those always got to try to have your stubs making subs for you let's go ahead let's hop in let's take a look at what we could be getting first off we see it right here on the schedule 624 along with the okazaki takashi cards coming out tomorrow earn brewers nike city connect uniform and a new program plus a brewers player item so pretty standard approach to what we've had here in our other City Connect programs so far. Let's take a quick look at how that last City Connect program impacted the marketplace to kind of get an idea of what could happen here when this Brewers City Connect program drops. And we'll take a look at some of my favorite targets to pick up so far for this program coming tomorrow here a little last second investment opportunity so looking at the angels this one dropped on june 11th so some guys have gone up and down and overall since then which changes their market graph just a little bit we can see a guy like taylor ward we can see there on that 11th he starts to trend up not a ton but about a seven eight hundred stub jump there for a guy like taylor ward another big riser noah Syndergaard. people love picking up pitchers because it's really easy to get player xp we can see noah going from a little bit above 500 stubs all the way up to 1100 stubs at his max price there a climb there for cinder guard similar with a guy like max stassi he caught a big bump as well going from right at quick sell uh, 170 stubs all the way up to six to seven hundred stubs there for a guy like max stassi unfortunately rise had just gotten downgraded from diamond so his market trend doesn't quite look normal there than what we would see but we also saw some changes here with our legend and flashback cards a guy like kyron paris this gold prospect as relatively available as he has we saw a slight jump with him you also saw it with guys like this tops now brandon marsh a massive jump with him that he's still recovering some right there 2700 uh just below that on the sell now price or the buy now price I should say all the way up to 11,000 subs. Now, this was a right around the same time that we got the collection for Tops Now. So that definitely helped it out just a little bit as well. But we see that happening with some of these other cards too. Even a guy like Garrett Anderson, again, a card that was at Quick Sell beforehand, jumping up to 4,200 stubs there the day that it came out. Even something like Face of the Franchise, Mike Trout, we saw a slight uptick with there on that 11th, just going up by 1,000, 2,000 subs right there from where he had been at quick so all that to be said we can definitely see some pretty significant moves happen here in the marketplace when the brewer city connect program drops here on friday coming tomorrow it's going to drop at noon pacific two central three eastern time same time as we usually get content so what cards could we be looking at or should we be looking at here in the brewers collection there's some quick sell options out there available that i think could return some good value so coming in here looking at the brewers we have some quick sell options here available first off here looking at brandon woodruff we saw with a guy like noah Syndergaard that pitchers become pretty popular options because they are very easy to get parallel xp with if you're grinding through conquest any seasons showdown whatever it is well not showdown you don't get player xp in that but whatever you're doing you get player xp very quick with pitchers right now he is chilling at 1207 stubs that is right at quick sell 1200 is our quick sell value for in 83 overall in a guy like brandon woodruff he's been there very very consistently so there is no risk in coming in here on woodruff his price can't go down below that 1200 and say come friday we don't really see much market impact happening from the brewer city connect program that's no worry at all we can come in and quick sell brandon woodruff back anybody we missing today definitely recommend trying to get in that quick sell or at least as close to quick sell as possible here mitigate your risk available also for a guy like woodruff currently on the il he's not pitching so you don't have to worry about him getting downgraded either he's not going to drop down to an 82 in the roster update and all of a sudden your quick sell value has dropped next guy we got here hunter renfro 
83 overall as well and right there at that same quick sell price that we saw with a guy like brandon woodruff so not really any risk he is back playing he was hurt for a little bit but not really risking going down in overall at all he's been playing pretty well the last couple weeks so we don't have to worry too much about about a guy like renfro getting downgraded and then lowering his quick sell value now he was in the summer circuit gold choice pack that was given in the market for free during this week so a lot of them have been in flux into the market that's kept his price down at quick sell right now but may continue to keep his price at quick sell even with the program coming out tomorrow but again we're talking risk-free here we can't lose anything if we get it at quick sell on these guys now, outside of our live series guys i like some of these tops now plays as well because we can get in still at quick sell we don't even have to worry about how our roster update would impact things and they're a little bit more scarce in the marketplace so they're a little bit more prone to see some massive jumps as a lot of people have locked in a guy like rowdy to les already there's not a ton being sold actively on the market at any time so as people come in and are needing to buy uh, a diamond position player for the brewers to get player xp they may look to rowdy to les who is firmly at quick sell right now zero on the sell now 4500 is our quick sell for an 87 overall you can come in here again pick these up at 4500 stubs in absolute worst case scenario if nothing happens he doesn't go up in price you quick sell him back you get all of your subs back now unfortunately a guy like tops now willie adamas he's chilling a little above quick sell right now would mean that he goes even higher come friday but you are risking a little bit uh 5, on the sell now right now for a 3750 quick sell or risk here but there is probably more reward as well dylan had about a thousand stub flip right here too so definitely i would say a higher upside on coming in here and investing in a guy like willie but you got to be prepared to possibly lose a little bit of subs if it doesn't work out not that it necessarily wouldn't but that chance is there it is not entirely risk-free another option here devin williams face of the franchise people could be coming in here looking for a pitcher he is firmly at quick sell value 8,000 stubs he cannot get lower fully risk-free investment right here in Devin Williams another guy to keep your eye on and possibly come in and buy finally here we have Eric Lauer tops now he's again a little above quick sell at 3,200 but with being a slightly older tops now card a little bit more scarce on the marketplace even more so than some of our other guys and being a starting pitcher people could be running to pick up this eric lauer to help them knock out those player xp missions so lauer could be a really good play 3200 you're only risking 200 stubs a piece on these plus the likelihood is if it didn't work out you could come in and list those cards and basically turn it into a flip we got about a thousand sub margin right there minus the 420 in tax at about a little bit less than a 600 stub flip there at the end of the day nothing wrong with that at all so you could possibly make a flip if it doesn't work out on the investment side of things those are the guys i'm looking at right now again we have this eric lauer rowdy telez devin williams willie adamez brandon woodruff and hunter renfro i've picked up some of those guys myself those are the guys i've kind of been investing in possibly for this brewer city connect program now again this is towards the end of this featured program so there's probably a little bit less desire to go out and complete the city connect program as quickly as possible or to go out and have to buy cards to do so but there's probably still going to be some demand and even a slight bump can help you come in and make a little bit of stubs here and there and again you're getting in risk-free opportunity it doesn't come around often so definitely got to capitalize on it when you can as always y'all enjoyed this video you got any questions about how you should be approaching the city connect program or any stuff questions in general definitely be sure to hit me up down in the comment section below until next time i'll catch y'all around